inverse variation occurs whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers whose product is constant. For two quantities, x and y, an increase in x causes a decrease in y or vice versa. We can say that y varies inversely as x or y equals k over x. The statement y varies inversely to x translates to y equals k over x, where k is constant of variation. Express each of the following by means of an equation where k represents the constant of variation. Number one, we have the number of pizza slices p varies inversely as the number of persons n sharing a whole pizza. So what we're going to do is to write it mathematically. So just write p, p for the number of pizza slices equals k where k is the constant of variation over n which is the number of person sharing a whole pizza. For number 2, we have the number of petri plants n in a row varies inversely as the space s between them. So what you're going to do again is just to write it mathematically. So just write n and for the number of petri plants in a row equals k, k which is the constant of variation over s which is the space between them. For number 3, we have the number of persons and needed to do a job varies inversely as the number of days D to finish the job. So just write N and for the number of persons needed to do the job equals K, K which is the constant of variation over D, D is the number of days to finish the job. For the next number, we have the density D of air varies inversely as the volume V of water in the atmosphere. So, we just write D. D for the density of air equals K, which is the constant of variation, over V. V is the volume of water in the atmosphere. For the last numbers, we have the acceleration A of a car is varies inversely to its mass M. So what you're going to do is just to write A. A for the acceleration of a car equals K, which is the constant of variation over um, M, which is the mass. Solve for the indicated variable in each of the following. So number one, we have... If y varies inversely as x, find k when y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 3. So we have here the magic triangle. So in inverse variation, at the top corner, so we have the uh, k. And then in our left side, so we have y. And then in the right side, so we have x. So, what you're going to do if k is missing, so just solve for y and x. So, multiply y and x. If y is unknown or missing, so what we're going to do is just to divide k and x. Next, if x is unknown, so what we're going to do is just to divide uh, k over y. So, now... Here in the situation, so we have um, y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 3. So the unknown or find for k. So what we're going to do is to multiply 4 and 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. So the answer is k equals 12. For the next number, we have find x when k is equal to 14 and y is equal to 2. Since uh, the given, we have the 14 for k and 2 for y. So, the unknown is x. So, what we're going to do is to divide the value of k and y. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So, the answer is x 
equals 7. Next, so we have find y when k is equal to 56 and x is equal to 8. Since uh, the unknown is y, so what we're going to do is to divide the value of k and x. So we have 56 divided by 8 is 7. So the answer is y equals 7. Next, we have if y varies inversely as x and y equals 8 when x is equal to 3, find y when, uh, when x is equal to 12. So first, let us solve this one that y is equal to 8 and n is equal, uh, x is equal to 3. So what we're going to do here is um, the unknown is k. So we just multiply 8 and 3. So that is 24. So k is equal to 24. And find y when x is equal to 12. So when y is unknown, we're going to divide the value of k and the value of x, which is the 24 divided by 12. So 24 divided by 12 is 2.